Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you spot an enemy, perform a counter strafe, and fire only to have your shot miss? Let's explore why this happens. First, let's revisit counter strafing. Releasing one movement key while simultaneously pressing the opposite one is known as counter strafing. This technique helps stabilize your aim quickly after movement, minimizing bullet spread. Achieving the perfect counter strafe is challenging due to the precise timing required. Even a slight delay or advance can result in a miss. In Counter-Strike 2, as in other shooters, the highest shooting accuracy is achieved when you are at zero speed. The mechanics of CS2 involve scope dynamics and inertia when stopping, which is why players practice strafing. As a result, counter-strafe training is quite common. You see that when the model stops, the weapon's crosshair takes some time to return to its original size. I'll now activate my script, which will allow me to do it faster. You'll see activation and deactivation messages in the general chat. Pay attention to my crosshair. It returns to its original state as quickly as the model starts moving in the opposite direction. When switching to the script, you can notice the crosshair dynamics and model movement are noticeably smoother and more responsive. When you try this yourself, you'll immediately feel the difference. In mid-July 2024, Razer introduced new mechanics for its Huntsman V3 Pro gaming keyboard line with the Snap Tap feature. This feature instantly registers key release signals, allowing players to execute very fast and precise movements, especially during counter strafing. Thanks to this instant registration, even a slight delay in pressing the opposite key becomes less critical Let's break down what happens with snap, tap. First, instant direction change. When you press the opposite movement key, snap, tap captures the signal and registers it instantly, bypassing the release signal of the previous key. Second, cancellation effect. An undo effect is created, allowing you to swiftly change the direction of movement. Third, simplified counter strafing. This feature reduces the need for perfect timing in counter-strafing. Even if there's a slight delay in releasing the first key, SnapTap will still register the opposite key press. Is SnapTap a feature exclusive to $250 keyboards? Definitely not. Razer has integrated advanced software into their devices, making them impressive but pricey. Other companies are likely to introduce similar features soon, and prices may drop. While instant key registration might be out of reach for scripts, I can experiment with instantly cancelling the input of the first key when pressing the opposite one. And the Counter-Strike 2 console helped me with it. To manage basic movement in a script, I first define movement aliases. Forward, step F, backward, step bop B, left, step L, L, and right, step R. Typically, forward movement is represented as plus forward and minus forward, which initiates and then halts the movement. For my needs, however, the movement should toggle based on the opposite button being pressed. Therefore, the command format will be minus forward and plus forward. Here are the aliases for movement. Next, I'll create aliases for button bindings and their corresponding algorithms. These aliases use the signs plus for action when the button is pressed and dash for action when the button is released. The movement aliases will be move forward, move back, move left, and move right. For the plus move forward alias, stop moving backward, start moving forward, Define a new alias, FWD, that triggers the step F alias to ensure continuous forward movement. For the minus move for forward alias, stop forward movement. The back alias removes the FWD alias, halting continuous forward movement. The back alias is defined in the next section. 
The removed FWD alias is redefined to stop continuous backward movement. For the plus move back alias, stop moving forward, start moving backward. Define a new alias, BCKI, that triggers the step B alias to ensure continuous backward movement. For the minus move back alias, stops backward movement. The FWD alias is reactivated to resume continuous forward movement. The back alias is redefined to stop continuous backward movement. Similarly, I create aliases for plus move left, plus move right, and their negative counterparts. Finally, bind the keys to their respective movement aliases. And complete script. This script ensures smooth and responsive movement by handling the start and stop of each direction effectively. Fine. Here's how I will launch the script in three different ways. Manually, using the exec command from the game console. Automatically, through the launch parameters of Counter-Strike. Automatically, by adding it to the auto-exec file. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more content like this, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Your support means the world to me, and I can't wait to see you in the next video. Until then, take care and happy frags. Bye for now.